And welcome back for another road trip in the Mini with Susan! <laughs> We're um, off on another roughly 130 mile round trip, might be as far as 140 miles depending on the uh, route we take. But uh, today we're not going the back roads, we're not going the slower way, we're um, going the quickest way. We've got an appointment and we want to get there on time and to be honest the extra hour um, there and back that we might save um, going a shorter route and faster route might well be worth it. So a very rare occasion for us taking the quicker option. Anyway, um, as I posted on Twitter, will it or won't it be a charging session for Susan? Or will her unique, economical, efficient driving style mean that she chickens out from charging? Or uh, just doesn't have to? That we're going to see. So I've just set up the uh, action cam so we can see, uh, where is it? There it is. Uh, we can see Susan's point of view there. Um, driving, it should look something like that. And we'll be keeping an eye on efficiency 4.6 miles per kilowatt hour already and we've only done three miles and it was a full charge um, when we left and put my glasses down again 98 percent we have now so we've used two percent for three miles i do miss that from the kona where you'd set off and uh, you could do quite a few miles and the percentage of your battery just wouldn't change it is different in this mini that it just goes down a lot so it really does help to um, switch off and not worry about it and that's the view today the car should do 130 140 miles we've got a trip of 130 to 140 miles the contingency is we might have to charge there's nothing to worry about is there of course there isn't anyway uh, the GOM because I'll update you on that as well even though it's always wrong says 119 miles to go so again another very odd one with the Mini we're always setting off without enough range for the trip knowing full well that there is enough range one of the things that you might want to watch out for in this video is um, on the way there Susan's driving on the way back I'm driving. I wonder what you can observe that's different between the driving styles because Susan remains more efficient than me, including this trip where she manages 5.1 miles per kilowatt hour and all I get is 4.9 miles per kilowatt hour when I get the luxury of the warmed up battery and a warmer day in the afternoon as well. I still can't figure it all out but uh, what can you see? Can you see how and why she's more efficient than me? So just as another example, the um, range says, oh actually, yeah, the range on the car says 121, it's gone up, but we're just going to set the sat nav now for our destination in Wisbeach. So here we go, let's start navigation, range recalculated, and let's see what it changes it to, 121 it says. 96 <laughs> so it's just knocked off 25 miles of range almost a quarter of what we've got and uh, of course it says we need to go and find a charging station so there's the example of um, how this mini's sat nav system really screws with your head with the range um, it didn't look like we had enough to start with and now it's just made it even worse
38 miles into our journey. We're averaging 4.8 miles per kilowatt hour and averaging 46.2 miles an hour. Compared to that last trip we did, um, we were averaging under 40 miles an hour. So again, those extra average six miles per hour, that's because we're on more dual carriageways, more A roads, and just going a little bit faster. range to go the car says 79 so that's uh, a little bit more healthy than when we first changed the sat nav and 74 percent battery left Okay, now we're 46 miles into the journey. The average miles per kilowatt hour is up to five miles per kilowatt hour. So that's a range, isn't it, of 140 to 145 miles. So um, no worries at all. But uh, look at the average speed. The efficiency's up, but the average speed's up as well. Now 47 miles an hour. So it's just creeping up slowly. Yeah, so the range has actually gone up a bit. Susan's just noticed it said 76 a while ago. It's now saying 81. So again, it's a pessimistic um, number that it gave us to start with after setting SatNav, and now it's going back to a better level. So 81 miles to go on the GOM, 47 miles travelled. That's 128. That's um, a little bit more than what we set out with to start with. So uh, it is working a little bit better now and 70% state of charge, so 70% battery left, and uh, I don't know how far away are we, let's have a quick look. Well, we've only got 18 miles to go, plus a little detour that we're going to have, so probably about 20 miles to go, and then the same back again.
Okay, so we've arrived at, well, not our destination, but we've arrived at a charging location at Tesco's in Wisbeach. What a weird place this is. I've never been to a Tesco's with an underground car park. Anyway, we have averaged 5.1 miles per kilowatt hour, 45 miles an hour. That includes going around the car park three or four times to find the charger. So we were averaging 47, but 5.1 miles per kilowatt hour, that's enough to get us back without charging. We don't really need this, but we're going to, aren't we, Susan? Mm. Yes. <laughs> and the put my glasses down again. 57% uh, of battery left. And it says we have 71 miles of range to go. So absolutely plenty. But let's see if we can get Susan charging on a Podpoint charger. Apologies for not taking video of Susan actually plugging the car in, but really, did you need to see that? She managed to plug us in absolutely fine, and I demonstrated the Podpoint app to her, and uh, away we go. And uh, by the time we got back from our meeting, we had plenty of charge. So the objective today wasn't to see whether the Mini would make it. I mean, we had 57% state of charge left and we probably would have got back with about 10 miles to spare. The objective today was to show Susan how easy charging is, to give her more confidence of going further in the Mini and uh, adding some charge while we were sat in a meeting. And uh, yeah, by the time we got back, we had 95% state of charge. Okay, it's my turn to drive then on the way back, so off we go. But uh, one of the first things I encounter is a... Uh, ID3 that looks like it's in distress, parked at the side of the road with the hazards on, in a clearway on a dual carriageway. Surely they must be in a little bit of trouble. So I stop to see if they're okay, but the moment I pull in, they indicate, and uh, they were obviously just checking messages on the phone, or something rather odd. Anyway, at least I checked, and at least they're okay. So we're off again. So as I said at the beginning of the video, um, I don't get the best efficiency on the way back. I only managed 4.9 miles per kilowatt hour, whereas Susan managed 5.1. And the conditions were better for me on the way back. So can you see in my driving style what I'm doing differently to Susan and what she's doing better than me? And sadly, no video updates along the trip, so I'll just leave uh, the video sped up and some uh, audio in the background, because obviously I'm driving, so I can't film the updates at the same time.
efficiency is still at 5.1 miles per kilowatt hour, but the average speed is down to 41 miles an hour, and I think that's because I drove through the town of Woods Beach on the way back. end of our journey thank you so much for watching especially since you're watching all the way to the end very much appreciated and uh, yeah as you can see here at the end of the journey we're having to take the pictures to show the efficiency state of charge of the battery and all those wonderful things for the videos take care see you again soon bye for now